The Music Academy is known for its work with young artists in the world of classical music and opera, but this year's summer festival features a twist, a cabaret set in 1979. I am acting as the homeowner and the host of the party, which is the premise of the story, and I sing a few songs. The first thing I sing is a duet with Kylie Kosher, who's another soprano here. We sing this duet in French about being twin sisters and about our lives together, and we're sort of setting up the party. People show up, we sing songs for each other. The whole premise is based off Laurel Canyon and Joni Mitchell and the Mamas and the Papas and that kind of environment where people were gathering together and just writing songs, making music and sharing it with each other. And there's romance, there's love triangles, there's drama and lots of other stuff. Tivoli Trelore is one of the nearly two dozen performers in the production. What's really cool is that, you know, we're usually beholden to like a score and a conductor and the language that we're speaking in and we have to do what's written on the page and this sort of music gives us complete like total freedom to do whatever we want if I want to speak a word I can if I want to hold a word out I can if I want to change the notes the rhythms make an acting choice there's so much more freedom in this Cabaret 1979 is the co-creation of acclaimed director James Dara, who's been bringing innovative takes on opera to theaters around the country. The Academy has been both organizing and aiming toward innovation, and how does a vocal student or a collaborative piano student primarily focusing on opera, how do they remain relevant in the coming decades? I was really excited about both challenging the fellows, but also kind of providing outlets to refine their training in ways that I think will be relevant to them in the coming years. Dara talks about why they said it in the late 70s. We really luck out in that we have Craig Terry here as my co-creator. Craig is somebody that is just insanely knowledgeable about pop culture and Broadway and musical theater. And when we were thinking about after last year's cabaret which was set in the 20s how do we do a similar program but continually also surprise the audience and not do something that felt now canned or expected or iterative and we were kind of looking at the sort of trajectory of the 70s but what was the cultural landscape of that time of you know lyricists singers songwriters all gathering at a house and writing lyrics on the wall the music academy fellows say doing the 70s era music featured in the production provides a unique challenge i think it's a great experience for opera singers to have to sing something non-opera opera probably takes the most training of any genre of singing but because you're really good at opera doesn't necessarily make you a strong singer in other things so it's it's actually really revealing to be like okay how can I apply what I've learned as an opera singer to these other styles Peter Barber and co-star Tivoli Trelore say they hope audiences used to traditional formal performances at the Music Academy are ready for something different and fun opera audiences also struggle to kind of let loose when listening. That's why if you can make an opera audience laugh, you can make anybody laugh on stage because there's like this, you know, there are standards and customs and kind of things that people don't want to break. We just did Bohème, like one of the most classic operas. And now we're doing the cabaret, which is literally no opera at all, mm -hmm. except for one, the part from Pari Giocato, which, like which is just a joke. Mocking yeah, opera. It's, like it's mocking kind of a joke, opera. but it's really funny. <laughs> and yeah, so you can clap in the middle of a song, you can whoop, you can snap along. There are two Cabaret 79 performances at the Music Academy. Academy's Han Hall on Thursday and Saturday nights. There are limited tickets available for Saturday night's show. And remember, it's supposed to be a show with a sense of humor. The cast weaves in a number of vintage TV commercials from the era and some songs that those of us who are old enough will remember, like the theme from the 70s sitcom Three's Company. <laughs> In Montecito, Lance Sorosco, KCLU News.